Hi there, let's talk about rounding. This is likely not new to you. Somewhere along the way you've uh, been asked to round off or have learned all about rounding. Uh, if you're in here, you just are looking for a bit of a refresher. To do well with rounding, we need to talk uh, a wee bit about place value first. If I give you a decimal number like, let's go 14, Point. And I'm just going to make up some numbers here like that. Right now, this number has seven decimals. When we talk about a number of decimals, we're always talking about the ones behind the decimal point. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decimals is how many we have in this particular number. So let's get that out of the way for a minute. And now, if I ask you to round off to, let's say, three decimals, that means our answer is going to be 14 point number, number, number. To decide what those numbers are going to be, you're going to look at three, seven. Those ones are not going to change. It's the last one that might change. To decide whether or not it's going to change, we look to the one after that. If this is five, or more, then we round up. So this is a six, so we need to say that this is three. If you think about that, all this is saying is, hey, this number is really closer to 14.373 than it is to 14.372. So if we're going to round it off, we should use the three. Now, that was to round to three places or three decimal places, depending on the instructions. Sometimes, however, we say round to the nearest, let's say, hundredth. That's different than just talking decimal places. If we continue with this same giant number, and we talk about the hundredth, you know this number on the left-hand side of the decimal, that the, these are our ones, these are our tens. The next spot over would be hundreds and so on. The same thing happens on the decimal side of things. This first spot are the tenths. That means this is three tenths of a whole. These are the hundredths thousandths, and so on. Now you'll notice the number of zeros here matches what the spot we are past the decimal. So that can help us so we don't have to go tenths, hundreds, thousandths, and so on. The thousandth spot would be the third spot. We're rounding to the nearest one hundredth. That's two decimal places. That means what we have to decide, we know we're going to have 14.3, and we've got to decide, is that 7 staying a 7, or is it becoming an 8? That's the only two things that might happen. To do that, we look at the 2, and this is less than 5, so we don't change the 7. It stays 7. Oops. And how about I make it green? That's just saying, if we're going to lop off everything else that was back here, this number is closer to 14.37 than it is to 14.38. So that's being more accurate. Now one catch, or actually there's two things I'm going to mention. One thing about rounding, we round one time. However, what if we have that and we want to round to one decimal. We have three point something. We look at this. So this is the number that might change. We look at this. It's greater than five or it's five or, or greater. So we need to round up. When this nine rounds up though, 
that nine becomes a 10. And we can't put 10, this is one number spot. We can't put two numbers in one spot. So what happens? That's a whole 10, a whole 10 tenths, meaning that one moves over and the three becomes a four, okay? This meant three and 10 tenths, and this is a whole one. So three and one is just four. And if it says round to one decimal, put that point zero afterwards so you're showing whoever's looking at it, hey, I know this it has a decimal on there. This is, this is accurate to there. Now, the only other thing I want to talk about rounding is when you have a question with more than one step. If the instructions say round your answer to two places, and then it asks you to do something that involves more than one step. So let's say we have to go um, 13 divided by three. And then we're gonna take that and go times 1.5. So you're gonna grab your calculator because nobody's doing 13 divided by three in their head. And it's gonna tell you this piece right here is 4.333 and I'm going to put three little dots here to say that pattern continues forever. Okay? Don't cut that off. Don't throw it away. Do not round off till the end. Only ever round off one time in a whole question and that's only on your final answer. So how in the world do you do that? Well, this number's in your calculator right now. It's in your window. 4.33333 going on forever. And what you're gonna do is just go times 1.5 equals, and luck of the draw, when I make up questions, sometimes that happens, I get a nice neat 6.5. If I didn't, if this went on and on and on, this is where I would round off. And I would round it to two decimal places and be done. Don't round until you're finished though or you're gonna end up losing accuracy and things aren't gonna work out very well. Um, you can go back and give that uh, warm up a try again if you want.